Welcome to the NordVPN product updates, July edition. Let's take a look at what's new for Mac OS and Windows. Hi, let me begin by addressing users still using Mac OS 10.15 operating system, also known as Mac OS Catalina. We have released an important app update. Unfortunately, this update will be the last for Mac OS Catalina. Don't be scared, there might still be an opportunity to keep getting security updates and enjoy new NordVPN app features. Just check if your device is eligible for an operating system update, and if yes, please update it to a newer version and enjoy receiving NordVPN app updates in the future. For users who can't update their device operating system and are using the App Store app version, we suggest switching to the NordVPN macOS Sideload app version for richer feature set than the App Store app version. We've been busy with improving the way macOS Sideload app initiates, performs, and presents app updates when they are available. We want to make sure you get app updates, security improvements, or bug fixes, as well as a clear presentation within the app. To achieve that, we had to dig under the hood and work on additional in-app indicators. From now on, the app will notify you about the available update, letting you know what's improved on the new release. And of course, we'll let you initiate the update straight away. But if you miss the notification, don't worry, we have you covered. The app will automatically initiate the update flow next time you launch the app. Also, since the launch, the dedicated IP feature has had limitations in our apps. It worked only with the OpenVPN protocol. I'm super happy to announce that the dedicated IP feature just got a massive boost. From now on, it's compatible with our powerhouse protocol, Nordlinks. So now, Nordlinks is available for all apps except browser extensions. Wondering what's so exciting about it? Here are some key moments. The dedicated IP connects much faster using Nordlinks protocol. A dedicated IP connection is more stable and reliable when using Nordlinks compared to OpenVPN, which might be extremely important in case you are using it on your mobile device and, for example, having poor signal coverage. Now, there are free protocol options to connect to a VPN-protected network. No hustle switching between OpenVPN and Nordlinks anymore. Try dedicated IP using Nordlinks protocol and feel the difference. Next, Windows app updates. Hey everyone, we've got some great updates for our Windows users that rolled out in July. Let's start with no-net detection. So how does it work? This upgrade greatly enhances the app's ability to quickly and seamlessly reconnect to VPN server as soon as your internet connection is restored, improving upon previous instances where reconnection might have been less reliable. The best part, you probably won't notice it happening, but this feature is a big step in enhancing your VPN experience. Moving on to MeshNet, we added one of MeshNet's most requested features, drag and drop file sharing. Now, sending files securely to your MeshNet peers has never been easier. Just pick your files, open NordVPN app, and drop them onto the peers you see on the dashboard or in the file transfers view. The transfer kicks off right away. We hope this makes your secure file sharing even more convenient. And finally, we've made improvements to ensure every MeshNet device is truly unique, even for virtual devices. When you add a new device to MeshNet, it assigns a unique ID based on its parameters. Some users ran into issues with cloned virtual machines where all such machines were treated as the same single device. From now on, even these cloned VMs will be recognized as distinct devices, ensuring everything works seamlessly. That's all for July. We hope you enjoyed these updates, and as always, stay tuned for more. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel for more NordVPN updates.